What's going on guys, Arva here. Welcome to episode number two of the F1 2016 Road to a Thousand Points. If you missed episode one, the intro to this series, do go check it out. Link in the description. But we're on 28 points right now. Let's see if we can add to this tally. A lot of you guys in the comments below of episode one said that I definitely couldn't do this in 36 episodes, which is what we figured out if we averaged 28 points an episode it would take to get a thousand points. Let's see if I can prove you guys wrong today. And let's see how it goes. We're here in the banana cast. We're getting plenty of potassium for the day. One of our five today, so we're doing well. Into turn one, we go down the inside of our teammate. The Mercedes comes out of nowhere, pinches us, and straight away, what on earth is this crap to start off the episode? Lads, can you get out the way? It's like those two guys were freaking giving birth to us or something, trying to squeeze through that tiny gap. But we're up into what will be P13 at the moment. So one place gained after all of that commotion. We've made plenty of contact with people. Well, now we're trying to overtake the force into the Red Bull's completely lost. It. He's lost the will to live. So he's off there in the distance on the right-hand side. We go around the outside of the Ferrari into the S section, just about get it there. And so now we're only one position off one championship point. So let's try and get that and see what we can do. The Force India locks up a little bit. So hopefully we can try and catch up to him as we move on to lap two. We're getting in the slipstream, but we've got a car behind us of the Ferrari. I think that is darting around. We'll try and go around the outside. We've gone horribly deep into the corner, but the Force India has gone even deeper and goes right across our screen. Actually quite, uh, quite lucky not to make contact there, but the Ferrari's got a good run on us. So let's hope that he doesn't make an overtake. He's going to go on the left-hand side. We're going to stick to the inside of the corner. The Force India is now coming back Back at us, I think that's a, another force in here. The second force in here tries to go down the inside. Yellow flag's behind us. We just kind of prayed into that corner that no contact was made. And no car kind of dive bombed us to hell down that corner. Thankfully not, but it doesn't matter because on to the end of lap two, we make a disastrous mistake there. Go way too deep. We lost three positions there. It's going to be a fourth of our teammate there. So we're down to P17. Absolute calamity. We break late. Our teammate breaks too early, in my opinion, but he takes out the Haas anyway. So we gain kind of a position there in a sense and now we've got the McLaren on the right hand side who we should be able to kind of out train there but uh, Jeff is telling us that we're near to disqualification which is um not ideal not what you want to hear but uh, fingers crossed that we won't get disqualified but into turn one the Ferrari's lost but the Force India has mugged me off there into turn one fair play and now he's going to try and get a run on the on the Ferrari can we make it maybe make a move going to go three wide here it looks like as we go to the right hand side he squeezes us onto the tarmac all the time you have to leave with the space come on man but we pause the video here because I'm turning full lock what do you want to bet happens what do you what do you think's going to happen guys what do you think is going to happen for fuck's sake! Ding ding, you are correct. We got taken out. So we moved straight on to the Chinese Grand Prix. Five red lights in the Red Bull. And we're on the way from P6 on the grid. So here's hoping that we can climb up and maybe even get on the podium here from P6. The Sauber goes into turn one. The inside, he moves the outside quite aggressively. That means I kind of completely misjudged my break point there. Smash the Haas in the rear end. So we get two second penalty, which is fair enough, I guess. But that, uh, the Sauber did move quite violently in the braking zone. But that's fair enough anyway. So up into P4. So we'll try and just get as, as far up the grid as we can really. To try and kind of counter out that two second penalty. The Mercedes goes side by side. He goes down the inside of the car ahead of the Manicar. They touch tyres. The, the, the Manicar has gone wide. We'll try and make a move. And what on earth is the Manicar? The Manicar just turns right. We tap his rear tyre. And we are out. Well, you would think so. But... I persevere. I think, no, no, Arif, we're going to continue on. It's only lap one. We can make a comeback. We can make one. We've already got two places there. Let's continue on. We move on to lap two. We're already up back up into P14. So we can come back and get some good points. Right behind the Ferrari here into turn one as we go into, as it obviously emerges into turn two. The McLaren then on the right hand side is completely out. So we gain one more position. So surely at this rate, overtaking about three cars a lap, we will definitely be into the. <laughs> Wait, wait, what, wait, wait, we're into P12. Did anyone see what happened to that Ferrari? That, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Honestly, what the flying fuck is this? This is the worst invisible wall or lag I've ever seen. Look at that the Ferrari. He just literally just goes off the entire track. Uh, I just don't even know. I don't know. I've never seen uh, a, a visible wall glitch like that ever, but uh, it's worked in our favour, so I'm not going to complain too much. There's a car there off on the right, so we've gained one more position, so we're up into what will be P11, I think it is, on the top, le top, uh, top left, so we are one place off points so never give up you know we got taken out we were turned round on lap one 
and now we're only one place off point. So we're looking pretty good as we go on to the back straight on the final lap. And we're up into P10 actually because we've gained a position somewhere. So we are going to hopefully come through for one measly point in this championship. There is an AI car, controlled car, I think that is behind us in P11. Hopefully we don't muck this up into the braking zone for the hairpin. The Sauber ahead goes a little bit deep. We run a little bit deep, but it looks like we won't be able to get him. We're going to have to sell for one point. But after the calamities of lap one, I think we deserve this. Coming back for one measly point. So now we're, we should be on a total of 29 points, I think you'll find. And uh, we're not doing very well, are we? Anyway, we'll move on to the Monaco Grand Prix. This should... um go well. This should really go well. And so we're off. Five red lights from P14. Let's see if we can even survive turn one. We make two positions off the start there, so pretty good start. Into turn one we go. Already some cards off. Jesus Christ. Everyone literally piling up. But somehow we've made it through unscathed and we're up into P8. So success. Great success actually to be honest. And later down the road as we go towards Mirabeau, the Mercedes going to take the Sauber out, spin him around. The Mercedes going to go. We're going to go right through them. And so we're up into P6. So this is all going rather swimmingly, I think you'll admit, here at Monaco. I mean, who would have thought Monaco in an open lobby with subscribers, 21 people? You didn't think you wouldn't think it'd be this great of a success. But look at that. They're, they're all just taking each other out for me. As we're up into P4, yellow flags, now green flags, so we can't overtake the Williams. Oh! That was so, so close to the rear end of the Williams. That was actually a nice, tasty move there on the Williams car. So we move on to the last lap of this Grand Prix. Now we're doing a bit of Mario Karting, to be honest, hitting every single wall in the known universe. Then we get rammed up the arse, and that literally is worthy of going up on Brazos, I think. And then we get rammed again by the Mercedes for frick's sake. I don't know how he's got away with that, but we come through the final corner. It's going to be P3, not P2, because the Mercedes apparently has some sort of favoritism from the pe Codemasters penalty system. Just wonderful. And oh, look what's returned. The classic, classic replay cameras of F1 2016. There's not even any people here to make a joke out of. We're literally just looking at some fucking fences. And like, I, I don't know, what looks like a bank or something here in Monaco? I don't even know. We're just... Really, re what great insights we're getting. 10 out of 10 would look at again. Anyways, we move swiftly on to the next race. We're back in the beautiful yellow submarine of the Renault. We go to five red lights here at Germany from P14 yet again here in the Renault. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a good omen to be P14 last time in Bahrain to kick off the episode. Let's see how it goes into turn one. Let's see how many positions we can gain. Everyone goes wide. I cut the corner. An absolute beautiful treat there. And that, I believe, is a masterclass of how to do it in an open lobby. We've gone from p 14 to P5 in literally a split second. That is how you do it, kids. That is how you do it. Moving further down the line towards the hairpin. Let's see what we can do. Here's the Sauber torpedoes the force India into the hairpin. We do a nice tight switchback line and we're up into P4. Our teammates fighting and fending off the Sauber. We could be up into a podium position, but our teammate goes wide on the grass. Blocks us off here. What the hell are you? Really? 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 <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. Final race of the episode. So far, we've got 16 points and we've been taken out twice. Let's try and end it on a high and try and get some good points to add to that tally. We could still theoretically match our 28 points from uh, from episode one. So going to turn one, already been made contact into turn one, already been barged through there into the Sauber and the Force India. The Ferrari comes through, collects the Force India on its way out of that corner. And so we're up into P9. So we've gone backwards a little bit, but into the next section, look at the calamities that's gone on ahead of us. The Toro Rosso and the Sauber go off on the right. We've got a ghosting manner of Nino actually going through the Ferrari there. Cheeky. We've got the Red Bull going wide so we go around the outside of him and we're up into P6 now. So we come through the Ferrari's lost the back end. He goes on the right and he comes dangerously across and we just about avoid him. That could have been very, very nasty. I think that might be the same Ferrari from China. Maybe he was coming back for some revenge. We now move later on into lap one. We can see Nino's going to try and overtake the Renault here. So let's see if we can maybe use this to our advantage as all three of us use a beautiful line through that corner, you must say. But we've tapped the end of Nino and we've spun around. Oh, for flipping take. We're down to P9 now, side by side with the Red Bull car. I'm going to blame Nino on that. Nino, that was all your fault. So we're going to go now into turn one. I'm just kidding. We're going to go into turn one, dive on the hell out of this other car. I think it's a McLaren down the right hand side. And we're going to go through side by side into turn two. He's going to get the better line through here, but we'll try and see what we can do into the S section. Generally pretty good in this section. So we go through. He brake checked us. An absolute treat. He's literally 
properly press the brake pedal through that section. A place where you don't actually have to brake, uh, br actually properly brake. You just, you know, use the engine braking. But no, he just decided to slam his foot down or, or right, uh, left uh, left finger down. So we come through now on the Renault and the Force India. The Renault just decides to park the absolute bus, the stadium, the universe there on the apex. But then he gets completely dover keen by our teammate there in the other Williams car. So thanks, teammate. Thanks for that. Good team, good, good team spirit there. Good teamwork there. Uh, working in unison. So now we're going to try and get a bit of a slipstream from our teammates. We set up into a, what, what is a beautiful sunset, I must say. Getting a little bit off topic there. But we're going to try and slipstream our team as best we can to overtake this Force India. So at the moment, we're in the points back again. P, P10 it will be. Let's see if we can get some more positions. The other Renault, the second Renault, completely spins around there on the left on the grass. So up into P9 this will be, or 8 actually. So we are one place off P7, which was our teammate. He goes down the inside of the Force India. So can we get a good run? The Force India's got a really bad run. You go down the inside, go aggressively on the curb. We are up into P7 at the moment. He's going to try and hang it around the outside. We're going to go really tight on the apex, squeeze them out there, and we are going to get P7. And so that is how it's going to round up this episode, guys, with P7 here at USA. That's going to be six points added to our total there for 22 points in episode number two. So six short of the 28 we got in episode one, but still a fairly decent job there. So guys, if you have enjoyed the episode, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you want to do subscribe for weekly for more content, I hope you have a hope you rest of the day, and I will see you guys next time.